You ask, and today we answer your top five questions about square foot gardening. Come on, let's go. Hey, how you doing? On behalf of the Square Foot Gardening Foundation, I'm Rick Bickling, the How Do Gardener. Well, let's jump right into it. Here are the five most frequently asked questions about square foot gardening and our answers. Can I just use some dirt from my yard in my SFG beds instead of Mel's Mix? Soil is the primary source of water and nutrients for your plants, and Mel's Mix is the perfect gardening soil. It's lightweight and friable, that means it's kind of crumbly, which promotes seedling emergence, root penetration, and air infiltration. It holds moisture, yet it's well drained, kind of like a damp sponge. It provides all essential plant nutrients. It retains these nutrients and keeps them from washing away, and it's the perfect neutral soil pH level to make these stored nutrients readily available to your plants. Another important reason not to just dig up some dirt from the backyard and chuck that in your square foot garden is that you don't know what's in it. Even with a soil analysis test, you can still spend years trying to amend it properly. Start with the perfect garden soil. Mel's Mix. Do I have to use vermiculite? Doesn't it contain asbestos? Vermiculite itself is safe to use. Any health and safety concerns you may have heard about are associated with a single vermiculite deposit where asbestos minerals developed alongside the vermiculite. When the vermiculite was mined, some asbestos contaminated the vermiculite. This mine, located in Libby, Montana, was closed in 1990. Today, horticultural grade vermiculite is certified asbestos free. Do I have to use peat moss? I heard we're running out of it. While it's true that peat moss has been over harvested in many parts of the world without any plans for restoration, peat moss harvested in Canada, which supplies 80% of North America's peat moss, is now being done in a sustainable manner. Canada contains 294 million acres, or approximately 25% of the entire world's peat lands. The total amount of peat moss harvested every year from Canadian peat bogs is 60 times less than the total annual accumulation of new peat moss in these bogs. Why should I use a grid on my square foot garden? This grid is what makes it possible to achieve such amazing results. But why? Imagine pulling into your local grocery store, looking for a place to park, and there being no lines painted in the parking lot. Would you play chess without squares on the board? Would you play tic-tac-toe without lines? That's what square foot gardening without a planting grid is like. Planting grids are crucial for keeping your square foot garden organized for planting and harvesting. The one foot grid squares, 16 of them in a standard 4 by 4 foot raised bed, allow for easy and efficient planting of seeds, separation of plants, and simplified care for maximum productivity. Why should I use landscape fabric? Landscape fabric is water permeable, keeps insects out, and helps keep weeds and roots from competing with your vegetables for water and nutrients. Now you may have noticed a familiar theme in all of these questions. Do I have to use some specific component of square foot gardening? Here at the Square Foot Gardening Foundation, we believe everyone should be able to enjoy fresh harvested produce. Can you grow your own produce without using the square foot gardening method or one of its components? Of course. For example, if you don't have access to vermiculite or peat moss, just use compost. If you once had a traumatic experience with landscape fabric, just skip it. But every component of the square foot gardening method is used for a very specific reason and is continuously being tested and evaluated against possible alternatives. After more than 40 years of experience with outstanding results, these components, when used together, really do make gardening fun, simple, and easy to understand and create. Visit our website at squarefootgardening.org.